how thick that shit is. It takes to make one hole. How long it takes. All them holes. All them holes. Alright. Everything cut and drilled. I'm fixing to uh, grind all the edges, smooth them up, and then uh, start welding up the uprights. And I made a new cart for my welder I'm pretty excited about. So, bad lighting here. And I even added a uh, bender's touch to it. Here's an ADD that works uh, to clamp my strap to and then I can hang my mask there. Get this thing in some better light. Yep. All right, the rack in its current state. So I've got the uh, uprights made and I've got my pull-up bar put together. I just finally did that, finally got around to it. So what this is, is inch and a quarter hot rolled solid, inch and a quarter hot rolled solid. Uh, this is two and seven eighths, schedule 40. I put some quarter inch plates on the ends of these and then uh, center punched them and drilled them to accept some drill rod, just so I'm using my, like my axle. So the reason for that, it kind of serves two purposes. So I've seen these racks before. Uh, Jetter showed me his and it kind of, it kind of swayed. Uh, so what I did, instead of just having one top bars, this essentially gives me two, right? I have, a, I have more rigidity up top. And then also I can use this, this can double as my cut training for when I'm doing uh, just, I call them my arm wrestling pull-ups. That's all I need to do for that. And then, uh, if you look over here, the C-channel, I got everything boxed in. Uh, quarter inch flat on the bottoms. I'll be drilling through that, drilling into concrete and putting lag bolts in. So there'll be one here in front of that gusset and in front of the other gusset. By the way, get down where you can see those gussets in all four corners. So this thing will be super, it is super solid, you know, in this direction. And I'm hoping when I bolt it down on the bottoms and then I use, I bolt all this up at the top, that it will be super, super sturdy. So I'm gonna be using some more of that flat on the ground. I'm gonna be cutting that into little squares. I'm gonna weld directly to the hot roll, then I'm just gonna drill and tap it. So this thing will be completely where I can unbolt it and take it down and move it. Uh, essentially just a three-piece rack. So there it is, there's my update.